In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in St. Petersburg. At number one, we have the Salvador Dali Museum. This surreal spot houses the most extensive collection of Salvador Dali's work outside of Spain. The museum's building itself is an architectural marvel, mirroring Dali's distinct style with a glass geodesic dome known as the Enigma. Art enthusiasts can spend an afternoon exploring the labyrinth of thought-provoking pieces, deeply rooted in Dali's complex psyche. At number two, Sunken Gardens beckons visitors. This botanical paradise in the heart of the city spans over four acres, featuring cascading waterfalls, vibrant tropical plants, and beautiful demonstration gardens. The Sunken Gardens also house exotic birds, offering an immersive natural experience, seamlessly blending history and horticulture in an urban setting. At number three, we have the St. Petersburg Pier. This recently reconstructed waterfront landmark offers sweeping views of Tampa Bay and the city skyline. Its distinctive architecture includes a large canopy, beneath which visitors can dine, shop, or simply enjoy the beautiful coastal landscape. A walk on the pier at sunset is particularly enchanting, with the sky and water painted in hues of red, orange, and pink. At number four, the Chihuly Collection is a feast for the eyes. This stunning exhibition of Dale Chihuly's unique glass artwork presented by the Marian Arts Center, will leave you breathless. Each piece is carefully illuminated to enhance its intricate details and vibrant colors, creating a dramatic and mesmerizing visual experience that truly celebrates the magic of glass artistry. At number five, the St. Petersburg Museum of Fine Arts calls. Housing a comprehensive collection spanning from ancient to contemporary art, this museum is a cultural gem. Highlights include masterpieces by Monet, Renoir, and O'Keeffe. Alongside its permanent exhibits, the museum frequently hosts a variety of themed exhibitions, offering new perspectives and a dynamic exploration of art history. At number six, we have the Florida Holocaust Museum. This important institution offers a poignant exploration of the Holocaust through artifacts, survivor testimonies, and educational displays. As one of the largest Holocaust museums in the United States, its goal is to inspire action against bigotry and hatred through the lessons of history, fostering an understanding and compassionate society. At number seven, the Boyd Hill Nature Preserve invites visitors to explore Florida's diverse ecosystems. Covering over 245 acres, this park offers several trails through pine flatwoods, swamp woodlands, willow marsh, and along the shore of Lake Maggiore. It is a haven for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts, offering a tranquil escape from the bustling city. At number eight, the Mahaffey Theater offers a rich program of live performances. Situated on the downtown waterfront, this premier performing arts facility hosts a range of events, from Broadway shows and classical concerts to popular music and comedy gigs. The theater's striking glass facade also provides a fantastic view over the waters of Tampa Bay. At number nine, the Museum of the American Arts and Crafts Movement showcases a significant collection of decorative objects, furniture, metalworks, ceramics, and other artifacts from this influential design period. This newly built five-story museum brings the philosophical and artistic movement to life through stunning exhibits. At number 10, we have the Whedon Island Preserve. A natural estuary and ecosystem, this preserve offers miles of hiking and canoeing trails, allowing you to experience Florida's natural beauty up close. The site also contains significant archaeological sites, offering a glimpse into the area's early Native American inhabitants. At number 11, Tropicana Field stands proud. This domed stadium is the home to the Tampa Bay Rays, a major league baseball team. Besides enjoying a thrilling baseball game, visitors can also explore the Ted Williams Museum and Hitters Hall of Fame within the stadium, celebrating the history and legends of baseball. At number 12, Fort DeSoto Park waits. Covering over 1,100 acres, this park consists of five interconnected islands, or keys, with beautiful white sandy beaches, a historic fort, a 1,000-foot-long fishing pier, and a robust 800-foot boat ramp. It's a perfect destination for beachgoers, historians, and boating enthusiasts. At number 13, the St. Petersburg Shuffleboard Club beckons. As the world's largest shuffleboard club, it's a unique spot offering a fun-filled retro experience. Founded in the 1920s, the club played a significant role in popularizing the game. Today, it retains its vintage charm, providing an unusual and enjoyable activity for all ages. At number 14, the Gulf Beaches Historical Museum awaits. 
This quaint museum, situated on Passa Grill, is housed in the First Church of St. Pete Beach. It offers fascinating insights into the history of the area's barrier islands and their transformation from pioneer homesteads to today's vibrant beach communities. At number 15, we have the Tampa Bay Automobile Museum. Home to a unique collection of vintage cars and vehicles, this museum emphasizes the role of engineering and technology in automobile history. Featured exhibits include pioneering front-wheel drive and rear-engine cars from the 1920s and 1930s. At number 16, the Great Explorations Children's Museum welcomes young explorers. This interactive museum, designed specifically for children, offers a variety of engaging exhibits and activities that promote learning through play. From constructing in the building zone to role-playing in the vet clinic, there's plenty to keep young minds occupied and entertained. Finally, at number 17, we have the Florida Orange Groves Winery. This family-owned winery is known for producing unique tropical, citrus, and fruit wines, many of which are award-winning. Visitors can enjoy a tour of the winemaking facilities, taste the delicious offerings, and learn about the innovative techniques used to create wines from unexpected ingredients. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in St. Petersburg. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.